So we have new to us is the unit crook EHR training using our own EHR that we've developed and it walks through unit crook training. I'm going to show you that today. Then we have an Acuro expert micro credential. Um, that one does not use software. It goes through some training materials and then, um, you know, if it's something that's a little bit more cost effective, if you're not able to take the full Acuro uh, course. And then we have an EMR EHR bundle. So we have one that has Acuro and within the Acuro is embedded um, other AI tools. So we have AI uh, scribe tools for medical transcription and we have Ocean and that's for, you know, e-referrals, messaging to your patients. And then there is a task completion AI module called Wave the Wait. And then we have another alternative to the Acuro bundle, um, which does include software and it's called the OpenEMR uh, package. So it does use all of our curriculum. It does have videos and instruction, um, but it doesn't use an industry software. It uses an OpenEMR product. That makes it a little bit more cost effective as well. However, we do really stand behind our Acuro offering um, because of the various different integrations with it. It gives you a lot of bang for your buck on your resume when you're trying to, um, you know, let employers know what you've been exposed to and what you've got hands-on training in. So we just believe that really offering this hands-on training in addition to theory uh, is going to help you obtain employment uh, either in a hospital as a ward clerk or nursing unit clerk or as a medical office administrator in a physician office or allied health clinic. I'm talking a little bit about what, what is happening with our EHR. So with our EHR, it comes with all of the tasks are embedded within the EHR. So I'll show you how that looks. Um, and then I talked a little bit more about the Acuro Expert. If we want to look at our Acuro Expert course, it's in the same area. And then you're going to be able to answer uh, a quiz and you're going to be able to generate your, your expert certificate right from within the software. So that's that ex uh, Acuro Expert offering. And then um, if you were to take the full course for Acuro, it's a little bit more robust. It has quite a few videos and quite a few um, PDF help documents per chapter. There are 12 chapters. Um, there are various different audio files that you'll need to listen to. There are various different um, PDF versions of test results that you'll need to upload to the patient's file and things along those lines. So you're going to get all of the work from within the learning management system, and then you're going to actually go into a Curo, and you get access to a Curo just as you would if you were a actual physician, and you are going to be set up there as a uh, provider and you're going to be given a list of patients that you're going to be working with and you're going to be able to walk through the various workflow for a medical office um, seeing a patient all the way through all the, the various different parts including billing billing for a provincial service so it is pretty robust uh, it takes about 30 to 40 hours um, you can do it at your own pace you're going to log in just as though you were working in the office you're given a 2fa you're given um, an account to log into the cloud so first we have to log into the cloud and then we're going to be able to log into the acuro software so that's where all the work for the acuro course happens so while that's happening i'm going to go into our ehr platform so the EHR platform is set up all within itself. All of the curriculum is set up in here. So what you're given is um, six or seven different scenarios and a task within each scenario. So the first task, you know, you're going to um, admit Matthew to the hospital, um, and then you're going to, you know, put in the various vitals, then you're going to, um, you know, put Matthew in a bed, and then he's going to go to preoperative holding, uh, he's going to have some various tests done, then he's going to go to surgery, um, he's going to have uh, environmental services ordered. Um, because of the surgical unit needing cleaning, um, then he's going to have to go to preoperative um, you know, all these various different things. So if you were to look at task 19, for instance, so you're going to be entering in this discharge diagnosis for the patient. And this is the various information that you're going to be given. So what you're going to do is you're going to split your screen and then you're going to go into the EHR dashboard for patient Matthew and you're going to complete the work there. So this is set up very much like the workflow that you would see in a hospital. So it has all the various different 
buttons uh, that you would need and you're going to be able to do all of the various tasks within here. So Akira is set up again, you would have your own um, provider in the system and then you would go through and you would schedule, you would register, you would um, upload various different test results to the patient's chart, you would do the billing for the patient, all of the codes are up to date and the real uh, fees that are associated with here in the province, uh, all in real time. Um, you would go into the patient's chart, again, going through the different tasks, and you would enter in all of the various things that we've asked you to do for the patient. Um, we're going to actually simulate tasks and messaging. And like I said, the automated uh, task feature using AI uh, is one of your tasks as well. Yeah, and so you go through here. There's other things you can do in here if you wanted. Um, if it's something that you want to know, there's a, you know, a full you know, help guide that goes through everything to do in Acuro uh, codes that we have in the system that you're going to be able to do and generate an invoice for those. So everything that you would need to do if you were working the front desk of a doctor's office, you get to do um, taking this course. And then you will generate a certificate of attendance of completion uh, and be able to utilize that. So depending on what you want to do, you would take that and then you would be given access to the various different courses. And then these are the answer keys. So it shows you um, the task you've been provided with, and then it shows you what you should have done within the software. So they're meant to operate, you know, very much self-directed. We do meet once a week, um, 6 p.m. Tuesday evenings in Eastern Standard Time to, um, you know, meet anyone who's doing a self-directed course who might have some questions, um, who wants to sit down with a real person and go through it. Otherwise, you can uh, email our support desk anytime who would be there available to help you with any part of your course that you might be stuck on. Um, but the once a week is nice because then you get to meet with anyone who has signed up who might have some questions uh, with their course for that week.